nations connect, nations unite kind of theme. How proud are you to be part of this and to be representing Pakistan? First of all, I want to thank the media for being here today. Um, I think it's going to definitely make a lot of noise. Um, it's the first time I'm fighting in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Saudi's been hosting some big uh, events, uh, the World Boxing Series, which I saw recently. Um, and obviously, uh, being, a, you know, being a British Pakistani, I think, and boxing Indian fighter, I think this just gives this fight even more spice, you know, it makes it even bigger than it is, um, especially in that part of the world. Uh, but, you know, I always train hard for a fight, I'm always focused and I always give it my all. Um, I know fights like this could lead into bigger fights. You know, maybe one day getting out the Kell Brooks, maybe one day fighting the Manny Pacquiao's, but I don't want to look too far ahead. Um, I need to win this fight, not only just win it, but win it in good style, because if I, if I, do, if I don't win it, or if I, if I don't look good in this fight, then I think that definitely doesn't put me up there with the, with the best in the welterweight division. Yeah, definitely, you know, you're always going to get criticism and stuff, and um, you know, when, when I was criticised for the Crawford fight, I mean, I, you know, I'm one of the fighters, I'd rather get knocked out than, you know, quit. Obviously, I was in the right state to continue against Crawford, um, not taking nothing away from Crawford. Look, it might have been an ex accidental um, shot. It was law, it is what it is, and obviously I have to move forward from that. I'm not gonna just sit crying and cry about it. I'm gonna have to move on. That's why I want to get this fight over and done with quickly, get another fight out there, just so people forget about the last fight. Um, that's why I, I have to take this fight very seriously because, you know, with boxing we've seen, obviously what happened with Annie Joshua just the last weekend. Obviously, he was, uh, he was knocked out by a fight who we all thought he was going to destroy. Um, but that's boxing for you. So I've, I've got my team ready here. Uh, camps, has, camps started for me. Alex Ariz, it's great to be working back with him again, and also Bones Adam, who I'm going to be working with for the first time. But I've had a great camps with Alex, and we know each other inside out. So um, I just can't wait to get back, back to training again and back on top again. Definitely, you know, um, I think it all changed um, when I was there last. I was there um, where I started seeing women not wearing headscarves. Uh, women were out driving. Um, so a lot of things started to change in Saudi Arabia, which um, I'd never seen before. I've been going there to do my pilgrimages and stuff. And I remember the, the last time I was there was they had a huge concert where everyone's dancing and enjoying it. And I thought, I've never seen this side of Saudi Arabia before. So maybe they are changing now to make it that new place where people can go and enjoy themselves and making it fair for the women, they can drive, they could, you know, they're, they're equal to us. So I think that's what they're trying to change now. So I am going a little bit blind um, to Saudi Arabia. I know that they've done the Super Series there and it's been a success. Asking a um, few fighters, for example, uh, Smith, the oldest one, uh, sorry, he's the youngest one. He fought Callum, yeah, he fought there and he won the Super Series. So after speaking to him and Joe Gallagher, they said to me, it looks a safe place, you'll have a good time there, and they'll really take care of you, especially when it's the boxing venue, they've got nice venues there and everything else. So as they're promoting Jadda season and sports, uh, supporting all these uh, seasons in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, I thought this might be the right time to do this. And, you know, they are, they are throwing a lot of money to the table. I mean, in the day, we are prize fighters. And uh, for me to have this opportunity, I'd be stupid not to take it.